Good morning, folks. Today we learned that a quake last fall was the most complex in recorded history. We look at some other top news, a major flood event, and storm alerts coming for tonight. But we begin with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. Last 24 hours presents little other than the massive coronal hole which faces us today and tomorrow. Top left, the bright area you saw in the opening frames appears to be much more impressive above the photosphere as there doesn't actually appear to be any significant sunspots beneath them, just tiny spots incapable of flares. Coming to the solar wind, the ultra-fast readings are over and even with above average intensity, the steadiness garnered in the stream has allowed Earth's magnetic shield to recover. We're back in the green. But of course, there will be more solar wind in a few days from that Earth-facing coronal hole. Normally, we look for its IMF to ding seismicity beforehand, but we're in one of the most significant earthquake droughts in recorded history. So instead, let's talk about recorded history, and we don't even have to go back very far. The magnitude 7.8 that struck New Zealand in November is now being called the most complex earthquake in modern history, and is likely to change how seismologists think about earthquakes forever. The rumble shattered nearly every local fault, including some that were previously unknown. It displaced some areas up to 16, 23 feet up and down, and up to 39 feet horizontally with respect to one another. Much about what they can determine defies their understanding of how earthquakes progress, and perhaps it will allow them to see the electrical influence eventually. This is what was tracked to place this alert back on November 11, 2016. Japan took a hit within 24 hours at 6.1, and so with its energy equalized, on November 12th, the Oceania alert spread south to New Zealand, as the only alerts were in the southern ring of fire. Of course, it was less than 24 hours later that New Zealand 7.8 struck. By the way, the next largest series of quakes that day struck the other alert zone in Argentina, readings in from 5.7 up to 6.2. More on earthquake forecasting at the end of the show. Right now, we're watching an animation from ALMA and the NRAO demonstrating how they were able to pinpoint Milky Way-like galaxies in the early universe based on high-energy emissions. Interestingly, the galaxies were found embedded in the dusk disks as opposed to confined in the center like gravity says they should be. And for those who take their astrophysics a little bit next level, we're investigating the non-thermal jet-driven star formation around and along kinks in the line, looking for electrical evidence. We're on to the weather, starting in Angola, Africa on the southwest coast where flooding has broken records, turned deadly, and for the second year in a row left thousands of people homeless. For many here, life has to start again from scratch. Again. Top alerts today continue yesterday's. California still under the deluge, while the central and gulf states have severe threats on the south pointing convergence of the central low. Eyes open tonight, folks. Across the pond, that low is just stuck on Portugal with its moisture flow battering and flooding the southern regions of France and Spain. It's going to continue. Folks, if you want to know what the latest earthquake risk map looks like, like the ones you saw today, they are updated daily on the Disaster Prediction app. Earthquake risks earthquake events, and space weather alerts as well, not to mention the only way I have to send you an urgent message in real time. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org, we expect a number of deeper look episodes before the end of the month, so eyes open for those, including the upcoming April planetary geometry, going to be a big one. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got more pressure and radar forecast now, a run up through the atmosphere and shots of our star to close. It's 5 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.